Hey guys, my name is Alana and I'm a Canadian, but I have been living here in the UK for the last seven years. Recently, I renewed my Canadian passport. This was the first time I've ever renewed this abroad. Um, stressful, <laughs> yeah, but I figured it out thankfully, <laughs> and I wanna share everything I learned with you guys. Now this whole process can be broken down into four steps. The first step being the application. So link in the description, you're gonna go to the website and there will be a online application that you'll need to fill out. Now they do recommend you fill it out electronically. So when you open up the application on your computer or your tablet, whatever, there will be sections where you can type into it, but there'll also be sections where there's like a drop down list, like what province you're from, that kind of thing. For me, I had an address that wouldn't fit in the space provided. So what I ended up doing was filling out the application like 90% of the way electronically and then printed it off and filled in the rest by hand. You have to print it off at the end anyway because we are going to be mailing this application. So it worked out for me. The application itself is only two pages long and it kind of has everything that you would expect to see on a passport renewal. Um, things like your own details, your height, your old passport details, you're gonna need your address for the last two years, your employment details for the last two years, and two references. So I decided to pick two Canadians who I have known for a very long time. So even though I am living in the UK, I'm renewing it in the UK. My references are Canadians, they live in Canada. They don't need to sign this form. So I just contacted them and said, hey, can I use you as a reference? They said, sure. And I could plug in their details myself. Now these cannot be anyone who is a family member. Um, so I couldn't use my partner here in the UK. Um, and they need to know you for at least two years. If you are living in the UK, I am going to assume that you have completed a UK visa application before. This is a piece of cake comparatively. <laughs> and also note, when you are renewing an adult Canadian passport, right? You're not changing passports from a child to an adult. You already have an adult one. You do not need a guarantor, which makes this whole process so much easier. Step two is all about your passport photo. Now, when I read the instructions, it seemed to me that the application really stresses that you need to go to a professional studio and not one of those like photo booths that you see sometimes at like the post office or even at a train station. So I ended up going to a place called Max Spielman. Um, they're all over the UK, but basically you want any sort of like photo printing kind of place. Maybe they can print photos onto canvases or they can print like photo books. A lot of those types of places will have like a photographer working there or at least somebody trained to do passport photos. So I walked in, I said, hey, do you do Canada passport photos? And the girl said, sure. <laughs> um, all in all, it probably took about 10 minutes. They had a little chair with like a clear lit up background. I sat down, she took a photo, she showed me. She's like, do you like the look of that? I said, sure. You can't smile, so they never look that great. Now I did bring a page of the Canadian passport photo requirements. Um, there'll be a link in the description so you can get it yourself. I would definitely recommend print that off and bring it with you because every country does have different requirements. So she took the photo. Um, we went through the sheet to make sure it was the right size. Uh, the instructions say that you need to submit two photos. One, which would just be like a, a regular photo, nothing written on the back, but the other one needs to have the studio details written on it. So the woman, she wrote the studio, wrote the address and wrote the date the photo was taken. All in all, it cost about 14 pounds, I think. It was very, very cheap. She ended up emailing me a copy of the photo if I needed to use it for anything else. I got one photo with all of the details written on the back as required in the application. And I got three additional printed photos that were just plain. Now step two is all about the fees. And unfortunately this is actually pretty expensive. So when I completed this passport renewal in 2023, the cost was 260 Canadian dollars. Ouch. Now this did give me a 10 year passport. So, it probably is worth it, but $260, 
it still sucks. Now, annoyingly, you have to make a like profile on this particular Canada Gov website before you can even pay for it. So again, link in the description. You basically just go through all the prompts. I said that I wanted a 10 year adult passport. You can choose a five year one if you want it. I personally don't wanna to have to do this again for a long time. So I went for the 10 years. But this whole like payment process is quite simple. It's just like registering, follow the prompts, get to the end and pay. And you will be emailed a very important receipt. This receipt comes as like an attachment. So you absolutely need to make sure that you include the receipt. It shows all of your details um, and that you paid for this particular passport renewal. So you're gonna wanna print that off and include that with your application. Step four, it's time to mail your application to the nearest embassy. Again, link in the description. This isn't like the most clear step, um, but from what I could see is you go to this website and it has a list of all of the nearby embassies or consulates. Um, for me, the closest one was in London. Um, not all embassies or consulates do passport services. So when you go through the list, and maybe you see one that's close to you, it should say that they do stuff with passports because not all of them do. Then you're gonna wanna package everything up and pay for a postage. So I sent it through Royal Mail. I did Tracked 24. So um, I could see that they actually received it because I was really afraid of this getting lost in the mail. So I would definitely recommend pay for tracking. So in the package, you are going to include your printed application. So make sure everything is filled in and it is signed where it needs to be signed. You're also going to have your two passport photos, one photo with a blank back, one photo with the studio details on the back. You do not need a guarantor on these photos because you are renewing your passport, not applying for a brand new one. You also need to include that receipt that shows that you've paid for the service and your old passport. Now on the application, I said I wanted my old passport back. So they cut it like they do um, and sent it back to me. You don't have to get it back, I just wanted it. So how long until you get your new Canadian passport? That's a good question. The Canada Gov website says it takes about 20 days, which is actually pretty fast. I thought it would take way longer than that. So I sent everything off. For me, it was September 5th, 13 business days later, I received my new passport, which was way faster than I thought. I actually did this process quite a bit early. My passport was going to expire mid-December. I, I sent it away September 5th because I was worried like, what if I wait too long? What if it gets lost? You know, all that stuff. And yeah, I got my new one in 13 business days. And all I got back was an envelope with my old passport and my new passport. There's nothing else in the envelope. It was just like, here's your passport. <laughs> and that was the entire process start to finish on renewing my Canadian passport in the UK. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Definitely check out this video about how to exchange your Canadian driver's license to get a British one. But until then, I'll see you in the next one.